Yeah, I figured I'd do a lineup of my Alice Chalmers and Simplicity tractor. Haven't done one of these yet. I'll see if I can remember where and how I got them. This is the oldest one right here. 64B10. Got this in Jackson, though, off Craigslist. I actually had two old 10 horsepower Briggs. I had enough parts out of the two to get one running, and it runs good. Got the skinny little tires on the back. Pretty sweet little tractor. This is my new addition, the B212. And this in here is about 40 miles from the house. Good, good running tractor. Just rebuilt the bevel gearbox in it. All new bearings and seals. The gears are fine. Put all new bearings and seals in it. It runs quiet and smooth as anything now. This is a, this is one I used to mow my grass. And uh, it's actually, it doesn't. I wish there was an hour meter on these things. It don't have much time on it at all. If you look at all these tractors where the white paint, the white paint is wore off the steering wheel. This in here still got all the white paint. The original seat and seat covering, I mean, it's dry crack, but this tractor here is, it's a nice one. 67 B10. This was my very first out of all the Simplicity and Alice Chalmers tractors. I got this off of uh, Craigslist, about 25 miles from the house from a kid that was going to restore it and he didn't know how to put it back together. And uh, the motor in it was actually junk, so I put a 12-horsepower uh, Kohler in it and uh, good running engine. I mowed grass with it too. Good old 2012. And my Big Ten. This is an eBay purchase up in Pennsylvania. Went for a ride to get it. Runs like a champ. I think the only thing I had to do to this was maybe clean the carburetor a little bit. Man, it runs awesome. This has probably got the worst paint job of all. I think somebody took a mop and painted it with a mop. But one day I'll make it look pretty. But it's a good, it's a straight tractor. Not much rust in at all. Everything works fine. This is one of my pride and joys. I've been wanting a Squire for a while, Squire 10. I actually went to North Carolina to get it. A little ride, a buddy of mine went with me. The 10 horsepower needs bored out. I happen to have a little 19D. Runs real good, but right now it's being kind of finicky. It doesn't want to start. I don't have a battery in it right now, so I was trying to hand start it with a rope, and it cranked up and ran for about 15 seconds on choke and shut off. But it's a good, complete tractor. It's got the original tires. I got a deck with it. 60, this is in 1966. And this is one I just finished. I don't think I've posted a video yet, but I got all the stickers on it. The B110, and man, the stickers made this thing look so good. I mean, they went on real well. I just followed directions, you know, soapy water and put them on. The only thing I need for this now is the grill mesh. It's really cool. I even had the stickers for the, for the old Briggs engine. But the stickers went on super, super easy. And the, the sticker kit itself was top notch. Superb quality. Really happy with the way it turned out. This thing runs like a new tractor. Let's line up. I'm getting the gang of them. I've already got my eye on another one. I found one over in Ocala, or actually Bellevue. It's about 35 miles from here. Simplicity 2210 square hood. If the guy still got it, I might pick it up next month. And I've also got a one of the big steel carports coming within the next two weeks so I can start stacking these up underneath their own carport. 
get them wedged in there. But that's my collection. Of course, I got other tractors too, but these are my simplicity and Squire, Alice Chalmers tractors. They're fun. Everybody that watches my channel and subscribes, I just want to let you know I really appreciate it. I've got 99 subscribers right now. <laughs> Give me one more. I'll have 100. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.